Thank you, anchors. I'm Jason, reporting on military technology. The Iron Man suit is almost as synonymous with the franchise as Tony Stark, and it seems that the military has taken a page from the billionaire genius from the comic books and movies. With the United States military developing the Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, or Talos for short, capable of stopping ballistic impact with the liquid armor that can solidify on command, the Iron Man suit doesn't just stop bullets, but it can keep a soldier cool or warm in over 110 degrees or below zero conditions. The suit has enough hydraulics to allow a soldier to easily carry over 100 pounds and run over 25 miles per hour for long distances. With built-in technology in the helmet, the suit can tell the wearer where both allies and enemies are. But where is that power coming from? General Atomics says that they have provided a small combustion engine running at a possible 75% efficiency and only having two parts, a shaft and a rotor, allows the engine to run at a very quiet sound, making the suit a viable option for stealthy operations. Unfortunately, the suit cannot fly or shoot the repulsor blasts like in the movies or comics. But this is as close as we can get in this century. The United States military is planning on putting the suit into production for Special Forces by 2018 and began developing the suit in 2013 after an American soldier died in a raid. General Joseph Vodal asked himself and his team, what can we do to better protect him? Unfortunately, Pentagon spokesperson Lieutenant Commander Matt Allen, as spoke to CNN, is cited as saying the Defense Department does not know how much the suit will cost. I'm Jason, reporting on the Iron Man suit. Back to you, anchors.